Okay, and here is problem four. Um, problem two and three, I will upload the answer key. I mean, I'm going to upload this whole document, but I'm going to go over problem four in video form, okay? So you have um, 0.4565 uh, gram sample of impure N2H4, and it requires 36.46 milliliters of a 0.2156 molar potassium bromate for complete reaction. What percentage of the sample is N2H4? The equation for the reaction is blah, that's right here, okay? So first, whenever you have been given volume and molarity, you use the volume and molarity to obtain moles. That is uniform. Use the volume of the substance and the molarity to obtain moles of the substance. So that's what we're doing first. So 0 0.03646 for six liters. I'm going to use the molarity over here, 0 0.2156. Ooh, this is liters of KBRO3. I'm going to use the molarity of that substance. One liter of KBRO3. So that's the molarity, 0 0.2156 over one liter, ooh, this is moles. Units are super important, everybody. Moles of KBR3, that's why it looked weird. So liters of KBR3 and liters of KBR3 cancel out. Now I am left with the moles of KBR3 and I can now use the mole to mole ratio of six of N2H4 to four of this to go to moles of N2H4. Mm, no, I want to go to moles of N2 actually, right? So I'm going to use this and that, wrong component. So six moles of N2, I'm going to go to six moles of KBRO3. That'll give me the moles of nitrogen and now I can easily go to grams of nitrogen. Remember to multiply the molar mass of nitrogen by 2 because this is N2, which is a diatomic gas. And one of the most common things you could possibly do that's wrong is, um, you know, just use 14. Okay, so moles and moles cancel out here, moles of N2 and moles of N2 cancel out here. I get, let's see, 3.303 uh, times 10 to the negative 1 grams of N2. I just like scientific notation, okay? Now, I can use the same thing going from, um, what do you call, liters of KBRO3 to uh, moles of hydrogen. Because here I have water. So it's the, basically the same thing, 0, 3, 6, 4, 6 liters. So I'm doing like long form work just so you know where I'm coming from and where I'm going, okay? I could have saved the moles of uh, KBR3 in my calculator actually. Should have done that, should have could have. All right, now I'm gonna do 12 to the four here. So 12 moles of H2O for every four moles of KBRO3. And that will give me um, the moles of water. And then in each mole of water, right, I have um, two moles of H. And then I'll need the molar mass of hydrogen, which is 1.01 grams. Oop, not 1.01 grams. Wait, no, that's correct. I'm not using N2. 1.01 grams of H over one mole of H. Let's do some very satisfying unit cancellations. Whoa, I love that. Okay, and that is equal to how many grams of hydrogen will I get? All right, 4.763 times 10 to the negative 2 grams of H. All right, 
So that is the total mass of hydrogen there. And then I have N2 as well. So now I'm going to add up the mass of nitrogen and hydrogen. So total mass of hydrogen and nitrogen is going to be my 3.303 times 10 to the negative 1 grams plus my 4.763 times 10 to the negative 2 grams, that will give me 0.37793 grams. I like to keep a bunch of decimals until I get to the end, OK? So now, simple, I have to find my percent of N2H4. That's going to be 0.37793 grams divided by my 0.456 um, 5 grams of N2H4, which is what's given in the problem. And let me do this, times that by 100. So one line of work. That'll give me 0.8278 um, times 100. Oh, I could just times it by 100 right now. Why don't I just do that on my calculator? Let's go. I'll get, oh, oops, 82.78%. Um, or if you got 82.79, I think my decimal, yeah, I can round that to 82.79%. Mm -hmm. There we go. 